How's it going everybody? Happy Eclipse Day! It is the day, uh, April 8th I think it is, the day of the big eclipse. If I miss it, I'm not worried about it. I'm not uh, overly excited about it and I'm not, uh, I'm not against it either. I'm just impartial. I could, <clears throat> I could care less to be honest with you. I'm gonna go out and do some plowing as you can see from the thumbnail and from the video title or do some more chisel plowing today. I was torn whether I was gonna do some chisel plowing. Whether I was gonna do some chisel plowing or whether I was going to um, spread manure, get manure out. And I know what some people are probably thinking, uh, so I'll answer that question now. They're probably thinking, why would you start chisel plowing before you get the manure out? Well, I've been getting manure out. We really haven't had that bad of a winter, so I've been getting manure out. So I've been, this field's pretty co coated pretty good. Uh, where I want to put this one, there's a small field up here that my dad's a pioneer salesman. So I think he's going to do a, he said he's going to do a plot up here, a uh, seed plot up here. So I'll get some of that up there. And then where the majority of this is gonna go is um, still a little greasy still. So I'm gonna go to our higher ground and plow up there. Like I said, it's already got the manure on it. Uh, the last field you saw, that already had the manure on it. So I'm not gonna plow until I get the fields all coated. So I figured I'll give that, give that lower field a little bit longer to, uh, you know, another day or two to dry up and I'll get some of the manure out on it and then we'll chisel plow that in. So let's head up to the field. standing this is corn last year uh, you probably wonder why I'm starting here this section of the, the far section past that tree is alfalfa this uh, side, middle section right here is going to get seeded over to it's gonna be oats and we're gonna plant oats and alfalfa will be alfalfa will chop the following year this is gonna be corn again this field last year we mobile plowed and uh, it looked like it probably could have been cut. We, we were rushing so much because of the weather. It was so wet at the beginning of the year. Um, so we were rushing around trying to get things done. My dad had a heart procedure last year, a minor heart procedure uh, that was going to put him out of action for a little bit. So we were trying to get as much done before that. And uh, I know a lot of people were saying we probably should have uh, probably should have mowed this. And I kept saying, no, 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 no. But, you know, looking back in reality, yeah, we probably should have. Um, it's just to get everything unhooked, to set up the chopper, open up the silo just for a few loads here. We were like, I, you know, like I said, we were up against the eight ball, really. We were running out of time. Didn't want to mess with it. This year now, um, like I said, that one's alfalfa. There's another field just up past there. That was an alfalfa field. We're plowing that up this year. Uh, if that field takes off and is and is pretty tall, I said, you know, now that we have our own round baler, not a big deal. Go up, mow it quick, round bale it, baleage, whatever you want to call it, just get it off quick, and then we can mow board plow it. So uh, that round baler, we're finding more and more ways. I know uh, when we bought a round baler, I had someone say, the amount of bales you do, just get them custom done. Well, no, no. I don't think so. It's paid dividends having our own. Um, it's it's a good thing. But anyway, as you can see out here, this was corn last year. You can see I got plenty of manure down. We'll take a look at how it. I went through with a disc in the fall and I disked them. I laid them all down so that way we can come through with the with the chisel plow and the blades. We're gonna rip this up. We're gonna mix all this manure in. We're gonna chop up chop up these corn stalks some more. And so I will show you, this is what it looks like now. And I'll show you when I get done what it's going to look like. So, oh, before, I'm sitting there carrying this letter around, went down to my P.O. box the other day, and I'm going to put my thumb over your name so um, you don't want your name out there. Um, and I, I apologize if I get your name wrong. Uh, Greg Robrick, um, he sent me a very nice letter here. Let's see basically a card said for the tip jar 
Uh, for background info, check out Tay Farms channel. Taylor is a 24 year old girl, runs their bail and roller up in Maine. And I did check out Tay Farms. Before you sent me the letter, Greg, I did check out Tay Farms. I saw she had one of the Rizzler bail and rollers when we were looking at unrollers for our round bales. And I did drop her a comment to ask her how she liked it. She did not respond back, so um, I'm just gonna have to fill in the blanks and I'm gonna have to put the response down for her. Um, so her response was, uh, she really likes it, it's a great car, and she thinks I have a great channel, and if you guys have not subscribed yet, you guys should hit that subscribe button, because we're so close to 21,000. So, I appreciate that, Taylor. Thank you so much. That is a great thing, uh, that is a way to remind me. You guys, hit that subscribe button. You heard what Taylor said in the comment. So, also, Greg, I'm trying to do this here. Greg also sent me $20. Uh, all seriousness, Greg, I really appreciate that. You, you didn't really have to do that, but I do appreciate it. Um, I, I stand pat that I have some of the best subscribers out there, and you know, you guys are great. So, um, Greg, I would have been happy with just the letter, so you really didn't need to do that. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna take the kids, uh, it's a beautiful day today, so I'm gonna take the kids down for ice cream tonight with this. So, I just want to let you know what I'll be doing with it. So I, I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Um, yeah, let's plow. Let's get out here and just plow.
first part, as you can see, it kind of there's a corner there, and we start getting into some long rows. Uh, we got short rows here, then we got some nice long rows, and then on the back side, uh, kind of 45s down a little bit. That edge line there, 45s down, so it starts getting short rows at the far end. But we're starting to get close to the long rows, so what I'm going to do is um, well, let me get to this turn first. Just finishing up this section. What I'll do is I'll start doing this end so I can swing out in there and then I can make my one pass that just is straight. Yeah, so that's the plan.
sun right around there and it starts uh, angling down. So my rows get a little shorter. So once I get this long part done, it hopefully doesn't take too much longer. Let's hope anyway. It's actually plowing up really nice. I'll show the back, see how the LEDs are in the back here. Doing a good job. All right, so long day. I'm hungry, time to go get some food and basically go take a nap so I can get up in a couple hours and go feed cows. So anyway, thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you, I totally appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.